good afternoon, everyone. I will start with the phrase Parliament, delivering a more prosperous, secure, sustainable, and fair future for young people. Allow me to propagate. He always, a very distressing poem studied in year 11, considers an unusual, inventive, imaginative, and innovative young boy who laments the stiff, close environment about school. Phrases like brown and square are repetitively used to describe the lack of innovative classroom and lack of freedom when he has to wear a tie as his school uniform. This narrative poem is a sad, gloomy, and depressing vision of an environment that ignores and neglects individuality. My plea, therefore, recognize our hidden talent and polish us to excel. We have been sanctified with raw talents that need to bloom and take flight. We need a platform. I need a platform. A platform for the world to realize our potential. The esteemed chief guest, invited guests, fellow orators, and dear audience, what does it mean for Parliament to deliver a more prosperous, secure, sustainable, and fair future? Thus the topic of this deliberation. The question is, why do we have to rely on the government or on the Parliament for a more fair and just future? It is not rhetoric, rather it needs answering. Any government plays a number of very important roles. Foremost, it is a service provider, a regulator, and a protector. Now, Wikipedia says, and I quote, in modern politics and history, a parliament is a legislative elected body of government. Generally, a modern parliament has three functions, representing the electorate, making laws, and overseeing the government via hearings and inquiries, unquote. Parliaments make laws. For a more prosperous, secure, sustainable, and fair future, a parliament must empower and educate the people on growth and justice. Individual prosperity doesn't mean much if communities aren't thriving, schools are substandard, public health is at risk, the environment is degraded, or it takes forever to get where we want to go. The future will suffer. Therefore, we need a government that makes effective hearings and inquiries into parliament, who regulate, protect, and also how it frames policy decisions. Any decision in parliament is paramount for the lives of its people. However, what do you think of when you hear the word government or parliament? Maybe you get a mental picture of the prime minister. You might even think about words like power or control or rules or politics. Dictionaries and scholars provide various different meanings of parliament. The Merriam-Webster dictionary offers three definitions. Number one, a group of people involved in controlling a country, state, etc. Number two, a particular system used for controlling a country, state, etc. And number three, a process or manner of controlling a country, state, etc. Now notice here that government or parliament can be defined by the people involved, the process in use, or the system in place. Dr. Harold Damro, a professor of government and history, gets a bit more specific with his definition. He says, that government is responsible primarily for making public policy for an entire society. He also mentions that government is the steering mechanism of any given society. It forms the policies that keep a particular society heading in the right direction. Now, achieving a dream and achieving a fair and just society are inseparably linked. We must know where we are heading and value that what we must be able to identify as values that could support our nation's future, the government and its people must work together. Now, Black's Law Dictionary mentions that institutions of the government regulate the relationship among members of society and between the society and outsiders, and that they have the authority for, to make laws for the society to meet goals and maintain order. The youths are our future. Maintaining dialogue and investing in people in places will increase our capacity to create wealth and to increase each individual's chances of participating in economic growth. For instance, Every child should get a strong start in life. Families should earn enough to meet their basic needs and have the ability to enjoy healthy lives in healthy, sustainable communities. Government, whether we refer to the system in place, the process in use, or the people involved, is an authority that sets rules for a society, helps its members relate to one another and to others, and keeps it running smoothly, securely, and peacefully. Stronger, more secure, sustainable local communities that provide an opportunity for everyone to prosper will deliver a stronger, more secure, sustainable nation. 
I will conclude with the wise words of Abraham Lincoln, and I quote, In a storm at sea, no one on board can wish the ship to sink, and yet not unfrequently all go down together, because too many will direct, and no single mind can be allowed to control, unquote. Another former U.S. president says, and I quote, No government is perfect. One of, the chief one of the chief virtues of a democracy, however, is that its defects are always visible, and under democratic processes can be pointed out and corrected. I stand here as an epitome of a future. I stand to be corrected. But we, the children, all we need is a strategy that maps out a secure and innovative future. Thank you.